beautiful minds that brought you the Cat Hero documentary comes the jaw-dropping tale of Fruit Samurai! Why slice fruit, you ask? Well, it all started when I was very young. My father was a master chef, and uh, he wanted me to naturally follow in his footsteps. But one day, he sliced a tomato in front of me, and it changed my life. And I've been cutting that damn fruit ever since. Now, the key to cutting an apple vertically is just swing downward violently at a 89 degree angle, not a 90 degree angle like most people think. Nope, 89 degrees is the way to go. This one I call Apple Crisp. Ah, oh, shit! This one I'll call Citrus Mist. You might want to step back a little bit, it gets a little bloody. Hill. My sword must be gone. Dude, maybe you just suck at being a fruit samurai. Maybe you suck at being a director. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Whatever yourself, I am the Grand Master Samurai, and I'm gonna show you. This one I call the watermelon. I kill you! 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 Fuck you, watermelon! So, uh, what do your parents think about what you do? My parents? They don't approve my lifestyle. He's a terrible food samurai. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted him to be a master chef. What's wrong with him? How does he expect to live off being a fruit samurai? <sighs> People don't take me very seriously when I tell them I'm a fruit samurai. But, uh, I'm seriously considering doing a educational audiobook so as to other samurais can horn their skills. Anybody can be a samurai. It takes real skill and determination to be a fruit samurai. And so, fruit samurai lives on in his apartment, in his parents' memories, and in your heart. <laughs>